Nirmala Sita Raman is going to become the first full-time female finance minister to present the budget in India's history. So there are a lot of expectations from this budget, especially from women, perhaps expecting in greater tax incentives coming their way. Let's tell you what to expect from this budget. First up, uh, a, a, a context to this budget because there was an interim budget that was placed in February this year. In that, farm distress was high up on the government's agenda. Uh, an income transfer for or 6,000 rupees per year for small farmers who had holdings up to two hectares was announced. Plus, there were tax ops in that interim budget where there was a full tax rebate for those earning an income of up to five lakhs. So, if you earn six and a half lakhs every year, you will not have to pay any tax, zero tax. Plus, there was a monthly pension scheme of up to 3,000 rupees for those in the unorganized sector as well. Now, the situation is different. So, what is the most topical issue these days? Growth slowdown. That is because we are seeing auto sales in reverse gear since February this year. A liquidity crisis or an NBFC crisis when liquidity is tight despite the RBI coming out with rate cuts plus climate change severe water shortage in leading cities in India like Chennai and even in Bangalore it, there is an anticipation of a severe water shortage coming through so will these be uh, addressed in the budget now when it comes to the growth slowdown there is an expectation that there will be a fiscal stimulus that will come through via tax cuts and a and increased government spending uh, uh, the government spending could be on infrastructure road highways ports and perhaps even irrigation so that the farm sector focus remains when it comes to the nbfc crisis there are calls for the government to do something immediately uh, there are calls for a dedicated liquidity window for uh, NBFCs to the banking channel plus a dedicated refinance channel uh, for um, NBFCs akin to what is provided by the National Housing Board to housing finance companies. Plus, uh, after rural electrification, housing, toilets and cooking gas, this budget may actually focus on piped water to every household by 2024. There is an expectation that there will be a Jal to Null scheme where uh, the focus will be on giving piped water to households. So, these are a few of the expectations that are there from the budget. The other issues to, of course, watch out will be how much room does the government have to spend if it wants to stick to its fiscal deficit target, which is 3.4. Does it want to even stick to this target? And what it's expecting by way of uh, tax revenues because GST mop-up has been slow. What are the other avenues to mop-up revenues if not taxes? Those will be other issues to watch for in this budget.